All right, guys, I am back and I am working with the um, uh, Lorna Taylor's La Vie and Rose kit. Um, only I think I mentioned it like last week that I printed it out at five by seven size. And I realized after I cut everything and got it all put together that I hadn't done a flip flip through of the ephemera. Um, I kind of showed it to you, I believe it was last week or the week before. Uh, but so what I did is I just took a bunch of like my um, a file folder, kind of um, made it into the size of this little flip over thing. And then I wanted to try um, like laces and that sort of thing for a cover. So there's all kinds of laces and trims and some of it vintage, some of it not. <clears throat> some dangly little bits and I've sewn it on and then I used some uh, Stamperia paper um, to back it to kind of cover up the stitching a little bit there and then um, I just used some of the pockets and then um, so far I've just kind of put in a few of the kit pockets and then made a couple little pockets here and put some of the little ephemera in here. Um, so now what I want to do is I thought it might be kind of fun to just play around with shapes that we already have and then use the kit embellishments um, to make like little tabs and whatnot. And maybe we'll do a couple little tags, um, that sort of thing. We'll just, um, cause I'm not very good at doing cluster type work. So that's what I was thinking we might go ahead and do is just do, um, some little pieces like that. So I've brought by, and I believe most of these pieces here are from MFM. Oh, well, it's not MFMers anymore, huh? It's Junk Journal Inspirations. Um, and I think a lot of these are vintage type um, pieces here. Um, yeah, so I've just got a couple because this kit has a lot of like pink roses and stuff like that. And this is the ephemera of what it looks like when you print it at five by seven size. So it's all very little. And then, yeah, so, and then I've got this whole thing here and a, and a whole nother one of um, like little tiny scraps and bits and pieces of stuff. So I thought we would use some of that. And then I'm gonna be using some of my punches, um, which I'll probably leave out now. And then I'm gonna take some of my little scrap pieces we got going on. Um, and we're just going to kind of just create, um, just kind of see what we get. Um, mostly kind of maybe like a little bit of snippets, but I'm not always good about using stuff I already have, um, instead of just going like to the next thing, really. I don't know if that makes sense, but so <clears throat> I'd really like to start using those kind of things. So yeah, um. I'm just going to cut a couple of these out of some of my scrap pieces. Um, and we'll just see how far we get with these things. So I think we might want one in maybe this color. Um, like I said, I'm not always good about using my scraps, so... I'm trying, right? That's the name of the game. Okay, so I'll cut a couple of those. And then I do think maybe I might, we'll definitely need this little tiny tab punch. I was just having a quick look-see here to see if we, so I have this one, and I think I have one that's a little bit smaller or a little bit different shape than that one. So that one might be kind of cute. Oh, yep, right here. Oh, so this was a two and a half inch um, scallop. And then I don't, there's not a size on this one, but if I had to guess, it's probably two inch two inch by like three inch, I would guess. So yep, I'm just gonna cut some bases out of these different ones here. Um, I'll probably cut two of this one, even if we don't use all of it, like all of them in the right direction, at least I have them kind of cut that way, if that makes sense. And 
since I did that one in that direction, so then I'll cut this one vertically as well. Okay. And this one, I don't think it matters what direction it goes in. Sorry if this is a little bit boring. I'll try to make it go a little faster. Just give us a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Maybe we'll use some of it, maybe all of it, maybe none of it. I don't know. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm not always good at using the supplies I have, and I'm not always good at using um, um, a paper. So I'm going to try. Now that I've repeated that like, like six times, you're probably like, okay, get to the point, girl. My point is, is that I'm going to try my hardest to um, stop that behavior. Um, so this one is interesting, interesting me first. So, and I think I want to, let me make sure that whatever we're doing, it's not like crazy out of, out of, yeah, okay. Like, um, perspective wise, it's not crazy huge, um, on a page. So maybe we'll take a little bit of this. So I hope you all are doing well. Um, I am getting ready for Saturday or I should, well, um, Keisha told me it was okay if I mentioned that it, um, the sell on Saturday, but, um, the live sales that happen Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, yeah, I'm still busy getting a couple of things ready for that. So that is fun, 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 fun. And walnut stain usually works better for like a, right? Yep. Works better to uh, ink, uh, my goodness, words, 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 words are failing me today. Um, cards, uh, craft card. There you go. All right, so like that. Okay, what else can we put underneath that? Bit of this vintage lace and we're gonna need something greenish maybe is that too harsh a green nope I think that'll do it okay now debating whether to just finish this one up on camera and fight with it the whole time or just go ahead and poke my hole in this one. I think I'll just probably poke a hole in this one and we'll just get started with this one. I think I told you the other day that I finally found one. That was a chore in it of itself. Okay. And then I think I'm, oops, oh gosh, that's a lot. I think I'm gonna glossy, well, I guess it's not glossy accent. It is, um, let's see, what do I use? Um, I use, um, now I'm not gonna be able to think about what it is, um, the name of it is. It's like glossy accents, only it's not quite the same. I'm going to see if this is still like unclogged and usable. Probably not, right? It's been a little while since I used it. Uh-oh. What the heck is that? Oh yeah, 
that's good and thick. It's triple thick, that's what it's called. And that is way too thick, so maybe we'll do that a little bit later. Um, I'll pause the video in just a little bit and I'll get out another one of my things like this that has like tips and whatnot and we'll uh, uh, triple thick it. Um, I, I don't know that I have a preference whether I prefer glossy accents over, over that. Um, and of course it looks like I did this upside down. So since the glue's still wet, we're just gonna turn it around right there and there we go. That'll work just like that. Okay, so there's one. Um, let's get a few more. Minus the glue. Go. Oh, you know, some days you just shouldn't turn on the camera apparently. Any who's in. And I don't even think I finished my sentence about I hope everybody's doing well. Um, we are doing good here. Busy, as usual. Um, I had to end up rebooting and resetting the office computer. That was a chore. Because apparently it had stopped updating and I didn't catch it. And, um... So yeah, it hadn't been updating for quite a while. So I had to, like, basically delete... The entire computer or rather I say I but it really Bo is the one that is the computer genius he ended up having to like basically wipe the entire computer just to be able to get to the point where we could um, put in the new system and then I couldn't use this and I couldn't use that as far as like I, I had to end up using my idea ID like my Apple ID for everything and oh my goodness what a nightmare that was um, Yeah, I don't recommend it. Make sure your updates are going on like they should because that took forever. Literally, I started that Friday and i not done, but I'm better. Like, I, I have a better handle on it today. Um, and yeah, I mean, everything had to, everything got wiped. Um, so that, that's been interesting to say the least. Okay, um, let's pick out what we're going to put on this. I'm thinking we could actually go a little bit bigger as far as like some of the decoration here. Kind of like that one for that one. It's going to be up a little bit, I think. Ink that. Let's get this one figured out. So we got a little bit of green. What else do we got over here? Um, not quite right. If we took one of these. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, let's do that. Okay, what about this pretty little thing? Um, I'm going to put the cap on since I, I'll just glue all at once. There's that little lace piece. a little bird. It's kind of pretty. I actually don't think it needs anything more than that unless we want to add a word or like one of these little little tiny ephemera pieces here. this little guy here. I 
my goodness, working in miniature is not always easy. Can't leave that one like that. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up regretting not gluing those right away. Don't try one of those. So we're supposed to have some big storms rolling in. Today it's kind of like this morning it was beautiful and sunny. And you know, we could turn this one. Let's let's turn it that way, but maybe we won't use this one. Um it was beautiful and sunny and now it's just like gloomy and gross out now. Um take some avocado dye maybe. Nope. Kind of almost like the contrast, but I do, I think I want something, something there to give it a little bit of something, you know? Hmm. Not that either. A little bit of this sorry silk. No, I'm just not finding the exact right thing, huh? Okay, well, we'll scratch that piece and move on to the next one. I'm still gonna like it with that and we'll figure out what'll look nice with that one, but. Okay, maybe we'll do, oh, but Grace must be in choir class. and then put a little word down here okay so I'm gonna glue these because I'm already regretting not doing that so let's glue a few and then we'll go back to um, getting a few more of these done I guess we'll just do them in stages how about that Okay, then I was thinking maybe to pull in some of the color. I've got some more of these little scraps of the gauze. Wonder what it would look like. Under this. I think I'm gonna like that. So I'm gonna just cut a little bit and then we'll glue and then as soon as it's set, then we'll pull we'll pull it out of there. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. There, along with our other piece, pull this back down. Let's 
So in about two weeks, we're going to have a ton of bunnies. Um, I know last year you guys enjoyed kind of seeing those. So I was thinking maybe that I would do another little quick video um, separate from our um, usual videos um, so that you guys could kind of see babies grow up. I know I promised last year that I would do like kind of like a series with them or like just like some really short little videos, but it just never like every time I would think about it, it was like cold or rainy or, you know, whatever. And so I never really got to uh, taking those pictures. So this year with the baby chicks and stuff, I was thinking, well, maybe you guys would all like to see the progression photos, I guess. And those that don't want to watch it, don't, you don't have to. It's, I, I would never be angry if you didn't want to watch it. It's all good. But if you're interested in those kind of things and want to come along with us to do them, I mean, they would be in addition to videos, so you wouldn't lose anything um, by doing um, that. So I don't have any idea why I just capped that off since we're going to be using it again here in just a second. So I was just wondering maybe... We might want to put a word on this one too because I think we're going to have enough room at the top. What do you think, guys? Should we add a word up there? Because I this cottage rose word just keeps speaking to me. Yeah, I think we will. Yeah, we'll put it down, not on top of the rose, since it's already kind of um, tall. Then should we put something behind it? Let's see what other colors do we have? Do we have any green out? Yeah, I've got some of that. A little bit of that. I guess that probably should have been one of the first pieces down, huh? You know, we may, I may go ahead and just um, triple thick them off camera and then just show you what it looks like um, in the next video. Thinking time wise, we might just have time for that. So I'll get them all ready because then, then there's other things I want to do to decorate them. So, oh, but I didn't even go around the edges. Oh, well, we'll go around the edges later. Okay. Let's glue this little guy. And I do need to ink the two little tiny pieces. I hadn't done that yet. Um, yeah, it makes a huge difference when you um, print in 5 by 7 like especially little ephemera pieces that are like little in the kit anyways. This is Walnut Stain. because it usually works pretty good with most laces. Okay, let's see. Put 
think this one should go down next. Oh, we should probably find the bird's position first and then so tonight I might be going and meeting Paul and having dinner like we were doing before since the state's kind of opening back up a little like little tiny little tiny gains I guess so I plan to get myself a big old cinnamon roll. I don't know what it is lately. Like I have been craving sweets and I'm generally not a sweet eater. Like, I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong, but I usually avoid them. Um, but yeah, lately I'm just kind of like, I don't even care if I want a cookie, I'm eating a cookie. <laughs> That looks cute. Cute, cute. Okay. Um, let's see what we got so far. I think we're going to need a little bit more. Like a couple more. Let's go ahead and decorate them all. Because even if we don't use them in this journal, right? We'll want, want to just save them for other journals, right? What do we got left? Okay, so we got some of those. Put that over. Do, do, do. Might be kind of cute if we use this hand, because it's the other hand, like that one. See, we got a pretty big bird that would look really cute. We got that for that one, so maybe, maybe we use the bird for that one. There's something to be said too about like limiting your choices. If you limit yourself, then you're less likely to dilly dallying when you should be. What's the other word they use? Um, lollygagging. <laughs> I love that word. Okay, so maybe something like that. Okay, now I think that one piece of sheer. lace I had would probably look good under this. Trim down of course a little bit. And no, no it does not. Let me try cutting it down a little bit and see if it's if it's not like the whole piece. Is it a little more tolerable? I think I kind of like it better that way. Let's see if we can use a word. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a French rose. There, okay, liking that. And let's pick a backing gauze there. Um, so maroon. I wish I had a pink. I don't have a pink. Maybe I should dye some avocado next time I have it out. There's a brown, but I think the brown just blends it in. That green's not quite the right green. I don't think I really have any fabric that would make it stand out either. So it's pretty much either green, this green here, or the maroon. And I think I'll go with maroon. Or wine color, I guess you could call it too. Kind of depends on what your color name preferences. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set that one aside like we did the other ones and glue them all at once. That's interesting. Not quite what we're working with, but interesting scrap. Well, what are the chances that it would work twice? Down here. A little smaller. Okay, like that, like that. And I don't think I'm going to put a word on this one. At least I don't think so. So what if we... I'm sure there's got to be a little postcard in there somewhere. 
layer those in there. Maybe if we use, oh, there it is. I was like, I thought there was a postcard in there. Throw that in there. Yep, I like that one. Okay. Okay, this one's gonna be a challenge, isn't it? <laughs> where's that big there it is I was like where's that big piece of green This one might just be one we add lots of little scraps to. And maybe one that hangs down here. Yeah, you can come in. Just recording. Huh? Said I'm just recording. Sorry. It's okay. I'm okay. Be safe, sweetheart. Okay. Okay, I will you too. Do, I don't want to do what? Yeah, go ahead. It's just, you were seeing it earlier, so I didn't want you to be embarrassed. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? I do like that girl. She's a very sweet girl. I have no idea what I'm doing here, so, you know, there's that. I think I want a bigger green piece, but we'll... Mm. I just don't like I think it's the maroon background I just don't think I'm liking that that whole thing <sighs> maybe we just go back to what we had before and do more of it's like a planar background maybe maybe I'm just trying to go too big Helps if you have it in the right direction, right? And where's the little green piece? I think I kind of like that better. And then by the time we add some other little, little glossy accent and stuff in there, we'll just call that one good. Don't know that I'm crazy about it, but. better. This one I've got to be creamier scraps here. Okay, now does that take away too much of the maroon? Maybe. Maybe if we add this in there, it'll bring it back. Nope, I don't know. So what if we don't even layer? Because I don't I don't hate it against that background. What if we don't layer? And then we just use like the green here and put a word on it. Hmm. Seems I'm not gonna be able to pick anything else up.
What if something brown, maybe? Something I got over here that's brown. I'm sorry, Silk. I wonder what that would look like underneath there. Oh, and I put back in the bin the one that I wanted. That looks all right. Maybe that's what it needed. Okay. What did I do? Is that one for that one? Eek! I think so. I think my fingers just took off with it. Okay. The little birdie ones don't seem to need much. So let's see what we got in the form of lace to go behind it. How about this little vintage piece here? I like that. And then got a field label, some words, a little boot. A little seal of some sort. That might look cute. And then a Venetian soap. That might look kind of cute. Okay, so what if we did this? Bird on top. Kind of like in here. Hmm, do we like it? Or do we like this one? I don't know. I kind of like it. So we're going to go with it. All right. I am going to go ahead and put some walnut stain around the edges. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut. Oh, or do we like it that long? I think, I think we kind of liked it that long, right? Like that was kind of the the gig. Yep. Okay. So, all right. Since this is our last one, I'm going to go ahead and slide those back up out of the way for a minute. Oh, and we have this little guy. I think we should use that one instead since it's more vertical. Probably, huh? Because this one would go more this direction. Okay. Sorry for my reach, guys. And I think this is probably our time our time for the day. We'll get these glued together and then I'll show you what they look like. And then tomorrow I'll have to be I'll have to just have just have to show you um, what it looks like with the triple thick on. Um, you would apply triple thick very similar to how you would um, um, glue for the most part. I mean, you kind of do circle circles with it, you know, getting your line in. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I had fun with this today. Cute little party. Okay. Another one done. Let's scoot this one over here, like so. And I'm not gonna use this one for that because I think most of this stuff will stick just as well with the art glitter glue and it is much easier to use on these little bitty things here. Okay, 
think I'm being a little quiet on you guys today. And I'll show you, there's really like two ways to take the extra gauze off. Um, Um, as soon as he's set, that'll be like one of the last things we do with the video today. I didn't ink those, but I think it looks okay. Let's pull that one since it has some gauze too. Okay. I think this will glue again okay with this glue. after I get that triple thick on and like I said we might we might add some more decorations on in the form of like liquid pearls or um, we might do um, some um, bling Not really for sure what will end up looking the best but we'll figure out something Will look cute. Okay, we'll let that one set as well. Okay, we'll get this little guy glued. And then we'll show, oh, we have one more up here, huh? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Walnut stain, where'd you go? Put it back up in frame, huh? Can you guys hear the wind? It's like whipping pretty good out there again. Not as bad as last week, I don't think, but those videos from last week were horrendous, I thought. I mean, I couldn't really tell it, but I could definitely tell that it was um, a little bit, like I could hear, hear my wind noise, I guess is what I would call it. I'm just kind of squishing and moving it around so it's not quite such a straight line. I want to remember to glue it the right side up, right? And then I think once we put this glossy accent or triple thick on it, I think it will look really cute. Okay, now what to do with the gauze that is on there. Um, since these are the driest, I'll show you. Um, you have two options. You can do the pull method here. I'm sure you probably have more options than this that I just don't know about. And then since you pulled it, you can just trim down these little guys a little bit if you want. If not, leave them really, really free. So it gives you kind of like a shabby look, okay? Or if you want it to remain kind of thicker, 
then you just kind of go in and trim down around um, some of the edges, um, being careful to still kind of stay shabby, right? But then you don't lose some of the other appearance in it, right? Either look great, and it's really up to the creator, okay? So, where did it go? There it is. Okay, so those are the two different ways. You can make it really frayed or kind of more together. Okay, guys, thank you for joining with me. Joining me with, oh, <laughs> joining me for this fun little adventure. And I will just talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.